Hello moms and dads, boys and girls. It's Monday today. So I'm starting with a brand new story. The story's name is David and Goliath. Right boys and girls, now the Philistines and the Israelites, they were different people. They were fighting. There was a big war between them. On the one side you had the Israelites, on the other side you had the Philistines. Now the Philistines had a big giant on their side, his name was Goliath, and he was teasing the Israelites. He said, who can fight me? I'm a big man. Whoever can fight me and win and kill me, we will become their slaves. But all the Israelites, they were so scared of Goliath, boys and girls. They were shaking, their knees were shaking. They didn't want to fight him. So David's daddy, he sent David to go to his brothers, to go and see what they were doing, because he knew that there was a war going on, so he wanted to make sure that his sons were all right. Now, this is David. Now, David, he was a shepherd boy. What does a shepherd do, boys and girls? Can you remember? A shepherd looks after sheep. Yes, boys and girls. And while David was looking after sheep, he used to kill bears and lions. Because he was protecting the sheep. So he wasn't scared at all, boys and girls. Even though he was just a shepherd boy, he wasn't scared. Because he loved God. And he uh, was fighting for God. So he wasn't scared, boys and girls. So he went to go and see his brothers. And he said to his brothers, what's going on here? And as he turned around, he saw this big giant. And this giant was teasing them and said, Who can fight me? I'm too strong. You can't fight me. And David said to them, Why is no one fighting him? And they said, No, but we are too scared. He said, I'm not scared. I will fight him because I've got God on my side. They were laughing at him. His brothers were saying, What are you saying? You are a silly boy. How can you fight him? He said, no, I will fight him because God's on my side. And he went to the king and the king wanted to give him his armor, but the armor was too heavy on him. He couldn't even walk with the armor, boys and girls. And he said, don't worry, I will fight him. So David went, he went to a river and he picked up five stones, boys and girls. How many? Five. Let's count five. One, two, three three, four, five. He picked up five stones, boys and girls, and he put one stone in his slingshot. Now, a slingshot is a le like a leather um, band, boys and girls, that you put the stone in, and then you turn the stone like this, and then you let the stone go. So, he put it in his slingshot, and he went over the river, and he started running to the giant. And the giant started laughing. He goes, ha, 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 ha. This little boy, how is he? What is he going to do? And David went and he put the slingshot a shot up in the sky, in the air. And he turned it, boys and girls. And woof, there went the stone. And you know what? It hit the giant right in his forehead, in the middle of his forehead, boys and girls. And you know what happened? The lion went, woof. He fell down, dead boys and girls. And you know what David did? He took the giant's big sword and he chopped off his head. Yes, and what happened? All the Philistines ran away. Can you imagine, boys and girls? This little boy, he killed that big giant. So what does that show you? You mustn't be scared of anything, boys and girls. If God, Jesus is on your side, you mustn't be scared of anything. You can face anything, boys and girls. You mustn't be scared. I hope you like that story of David and Goliath. See you next time. Bye.